what's up? Today we have an original tag to share with you today. We call it the Books and Bobbles tag, and we are really excited to share it with you. So the reason we, why we decided to do this tag was because a lot of you book, fellow booktubers and fans have a lot of really cool fan stuff or other little neat things that you keep on your shelves or in your room somewhere. Maybe it's not on your bookshelf. Um, and we were researching to see if anyone had ever done a tag that kind of highlights these things that aren't always necessarily books, but also other just cool things that you want to share and so on. Sometimes our trinkets and apparel and stuff are just as excited to have and get, and we pine for the same, <laughs> the same energy and excitement as books themselves. So this is this tag is to celebrate those other things that aren't always book related or maybe they are books but they just don't fall into any other booktube category. So without further ado, let's get started with this tag. So this will be an eight question book tag, so a little bit shorter than probably the average book tag, but I think we cover some really good stuff in here. So let us know what you guys think and let's get going. So question number one is name a book you are proud to own but don't get to show off very often. So for this question you can share almost anything that, it can be fan related or you know, um, pretty much anything. It's just a book that doesn't seem to fall into other categories, like in other tags, or you just don't, it's not review material really or anything, and you just want to share it with everybody. Or it can also be any book that you feel is underrated and you just really want to share it. For this question, I have picked this book, Her Ladyship's Guide to the Queen's English by Caroline Taggart. So this book is just probably the handiest little like guide to the English language and so on that I have ever had the pleasure of coming across. Um, I actually got it for a class. It was an assigned text for a class. We only read little bits of it and I've never picked it up since, so I kind of but I do have like, I have like looked through it and so it's kind of thing you page through and use as a reference. Um, it has everything from basic grammar to like other random stuff. It it's actually from London, England. Um, yeah, I guess that's London. Um, <laughs> and, um, and yeah, it has like the pounds on the back. So it's legit. So there's like different spellings of words. Um, the correct spellings of difficult words. There's like a whole little, like the neatest thing that I think is in here is like there's a whole section on British royalty and British aristocracy and how to address them in person and how to address them in writing and um, like how to address them the second time you say their name and so it's like all that Downton Abbey stuff so anybody who enjoys that would like love this book. Okay so the book I chose for this question was Contaminated by M. Garner and I think I mentioned this like only once in our videos like for a few seconds but I don't think I got to explain how much I loved it. I really enjoyed it. I really felt for the characters and I was into it the whole way through. And I don't think it's a book that gets much recognition and isn't talked about that much, but I think it should be and I'm really glad I found it. Well, question number two we have for you. Um, share a book that you love for its artwork and pictures. And this can be anything. It can be related to a fandom. It can not be related to a fandom. It can just be really... I don't know. I just you something like you really, just something you like because of the artwork. Just anything you like because of the artwork or photography or whatever. So for this one, I have chosen this book, Remembering Grace, um, and it's not really by anybody. I don't think particularly, um, but yeah, it's just a bunch of photography um, by one of her like main photographers, I guess. And yeah, it's just. I, I think I mentioned before on a Friday Reads video that I am a real fan of Grace Kelly and old films in general, and Grace Kelly is one of my favorite, like I said, one of my favorite actresses. Um, I just think she is gorgeous and she has so many beautiful pictures. Show some of those. Here's another pretty one. And here's like wedding pictures. These were came out quite a bit. This was this one was like circulated quite a bit in 2011 during the royal wedding because it's like Kate Middleton's dress was kind of based on 
um, Grace and Kelly's, there was like some inspiration from that dress, so yeah. Okay, so the book I chose for this question was Percy Jackson's Greek Gods, and we kind of got this together because we're Percy Jackson fans, and we thought it looked really interesting. A bunch of cool Little pictures in here. Like they're not, a side picture. They're not, every, um, they're not on every page. I go <laughs> And this looks one. so nice. It's just really cool. And then it has like text of the Greek stories and stuff. And yeah, it's just really cool. So question number three is name a book that is a companion to one of your fandoms. For this one, we both picked the Hyrule Historia, which is an awesome, awesome book. This book is just filled, like what year did it come out? Like a few years back. Yeah, and it's just cool. filled with all this different Zelda universe artwork and mythos and just a bunch of cool stuff I like so you see, see all of it but it's just packed jam-packed with like i've only read parts of it like i still yeah. haven't read the whole thing but, but it's just one of those things that's fun to like there's like sketches as you can yeah, see like, like some, original sketches that they did and, like um, some for the designs did. of the characters so it's just <laughs> basically it's just something every zelda, zelda fan would just love and that's why we got it actually and you should pick it up right now if you're a Zelda fan if you're a Zelda fan <laughs> question number four uh share an item that you bought because of a bookish fandom so this one we also picked one item um and it is these lovely harry potter glasses i got for like it was part of a halloween harry potter costume because when i was younger i was obsessed with harry potter I always dress up as him for Halloween. Are we all obsessed with Harry Potter? So, Harry Potter glasses, everyone. Question number five is share a bobble that you own that is part of a non-related book or fandom. So, nothing that had originally was a book. So, going with the Zelda theme here, um, I have ocarinas. These, here's a couple of them. Um, we went through a phase when we were younger, my sister and my brothers and I, where we kind of like just geeked all Zelda things. So we actually bought some stuff and we actually had spare money back then. So I actually originally used to have this one, which is from Songbird Ocarina, I think. Um, I think that's, I think that site still exists. Um, and this is the actual like Ocarina of Time. In Ocarina the in, from the game Zelda Ocarina of Time. So yeah, I used to have one of these. I lost mine, so this is my sister's because she bought one. My sister also has this one, also from Songbird Ocarina, and this is just a, like a fancier like. Yeah, yeah this is really cool. Kind of As you can see, it's really shiny. She has a chain for it, so you can wear it around your neck. I also have an ocarina that I have. I got. I remember this being like fifty dollars. This ocarina. And that was like all my, that was like a lot of money back in the day. It's still a lot of money. But yeah, this is the box. So it's like an official, like actual instrument. I don't know if you can see the writing on there, but it's like in Italian. It's in Italian. So this is like serious. Oh, I had to show you that. So this is my ocarina that I got way back. Um, it doesn't play very well, unfortunately. It's kind of, I think, more decorative than anything, but I can try playing a few notes. Yeah, this is just a little sweet potato ocarina. It's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't have like a greatest sound, unfortunately, so. But it's still freaking cool. I love it. I might need to put this on my shelf now. Okay, so like a third of my shelf is devoted to all my fandom baubles, so I'm gonna show you all them because I really don't wanna move all of them. Move all and them. I have a lot, so. Okay, so this is like my shelf that I have a lot of my stuff on. As you can see, it's all Nintendo because I'm a big Nintendo fan. So I just have all these figurines. A lot of them are Pokemon. Um, there's like some CDs of a Zelda and Super Smash Brothers. I have a few copies of Nintendo Power. And I also keep some of my games here. And on this shelf, I don't the have as much. The Amiibo shelf! Yeah, the Amiibo shelf. <laughs> there's those new figurines that Nintendo's making and I'm addicted to them, so I have a good amount. Mm -hmm. But those are all my fandom. This is my faves right here. These like three. Oh, I, I knocked Zelda. <laughs> and then there's like Toon Link here. Very cool. My bros are super cool. <laughs> 
Okay, so question number six now. Show off a bobble that isn't related to any kind of fandom, but you think is cool. So this is another thing, like the ocarinas, that isn't mine, but I just think it's really cool. It's actually not even on my shelf. I think that's what we said in the question. <laughs> but I don't have that many cool things on my shelf right now. But it's these. My sister is super talented. She actually made these. She used to have an Etsy shop, and I think she should open it again, because these are steampunk goggles. Steampunk goggles, y'all. They're pretty And cool. it's actually made out of leather and stuff, so that's kind of cool. You used to put them on a fedora hat and then, like, wear it, but yeah, you can wear it like this, kind of, but it's meant to go on the hat, like I said. And pretty cool. Easter eye. On my shelf. Um, is this J that I have. Um, Actually, it was the thing that kind of gave us the idea of J and J books, besides that we're, our names both start with J. <laughs> Not Ty, but something metallic that was on a railroad. <laughs> <laughs> Number seven. Do you have any clothing slash accessories that is part of some kind of fandom? And this can be book, this can be anything, just anything you geek, anything you're a fan of. I'm gonna continue on with the Zelda thing. Yeah. We got way too much Zelda stuff, but of course we all both happen to have Zelda backpacks. I actually use this for the entirety of my 8th grade school year. Yeah. This one I actually found at a thrift store of all places. Oh, wow. A Triforce symbol and it's all in gold and it's just, I think it's just some like kind of little kid backpack because it's just got a main pocket and a little pocket. but. Yeah, it's super cool. I've used it a couple of times, and yeah, it's just kind of neat. Cool. Mine's too. like the uh, I know because I Hy bought it. High rolling shield. I forgot what it's called. Yeah, high so, shield. Kind of looks if you put on your back, looks like you have the shield. Check this out. I Zelda the backpack. Blank right now. That's the little sword. Zelda backpack. <sighs> I got this Harry Potter T-shirt at Target just recently. It's probably not the coolest, like. Harry Potter t-shirt you can ever get, but it's still pretty cool. I like it. My first Harry Potter t-shirt ever. <laughs> um, it's just Link from, it's the design based off from Skyward Sword. The 8-bit retro Mario, paper Mario, Mario. <laughs> and last but not least, question number eight, share some item that is on your wish list. This is just the, this is just the section to make other people drool over stuff that they didn't know they need. Okay, <laughs> for me, the things that I kind of want right now are all Harry Potter related right now. Um, I've always wanted a Harry Potter wand because I don't have one and I kind of want like more of a legit one, like not, you had a plastic one for a while yeah. and I don't want a plastic one, I want like a real, like a wooden wandy thing. I also really want a stuffed Hedwig. I used to sell them like, I think it, when we were living in Canada, they had like a whole, like chapters had a whole like shelf of them like in the back, like where you got it checked out. And I, like, we always wanted one, but I never wanted it like bad enough that I ever just got it. And I really regret that. And the third thing that I think I kind of would like <laughs> um, would be Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, but in Latin. It does exist and I am weird and like Latin. So I would love a copy of the Philosopher's Stone in Latin. One of the things I want and you want to Another Zelda item! <laughs> Zelda Monopoly. We saw it at Barnes & Noble and we're like, oh my gosh, we have to get this! But Barnes & Noble like overprices everything, so... It's true. So it's like 40 bucks and you can get it on Amazon for like 30, so we're kind of holding out until we can get it on Amazon. Yeah. Thanks for watching everyone! We had a lot of fun assembling this tag and doing it and talking about all the stuff that we love and stuff that we want and so on. Um, we can't wait to see what you guys come up with in your videos. So yeah, I would love, I'm like super excited to see people try this. So um, try it if you want to. We're going to tag a few people, um, but anybody who wants to do this or anybody who thinks they have stuff to share, um, I know that not everybody has stuff, so you may or may not want to try this tag yet, maybe in the future, but if you do feel like you have stuff and we haven't tagged you, then please, please, please try this and link us to your, or send us a link to your video. Just put it in the description below. Description. We will or put it in the <laughs> comments. Okay, so we're going to tag a few people now, um, but yeah. Feel free to do it if you so dare. So the people we want to tag are Michael from Bitten by a Radioactive Book, Sam from Novels and Nonsense, Charlotte from Beetle Books, Jellybean Legs, Paul from Common Touch of Fantasy, Nadira from Blabber On, I hope I said your name right, um, Chelsea Martin, Ben from Bangity Bangs, 
Morgan from Little Word Weaver, and Gina from In Cold Lit. Michelle from Fluffy Book Bug, and Hannah from Craving Books. And that's all we have today, everyone, so we will see you soon with another video. Bye! Bye.